All right, so first, while I am saying welcome, and welcome back, you see the green on the inner corner too? This is with the uh, Bella Beauty Bar Strange and Unusual palette. I just wanted to show you my look today. Really beautiful. I did take two shades from the uh, Ellis Atlantis palette just so that I could use a little bit of like yellow and orange to blend but I used like the red and the yellow and that orange shade all in that row and then I took um sandworm and I took uh afterlife under here with beetlejuice under so with Lydia and witch doctor and whatever the gold shade's called anyway you're not gonna believe what I did I had my video set on like high definition, like full high def, which I do for my shorts again. Um, but I have to remember that if my video is going to be a certain length, if it's over like 25 minutes, then I have to change it back. Otherwise my video will just shut off on me and I was recording my fall favorites and that happened. So I think that's also a note that maybe I was taking a little too long. So we're going to go again and try to get through it. I'm going to start at the beginning of the face. So I have, um, I'm not including skincare, okay? We'll do a separate skincare for fall time. Um, but I uh, basically have just been doing skincare. And instead of doing, instead of doing any uh, primer, I'm just using setting spray. And um, I go, did get over the summer the Stay All Night Microfine Setting Spray for 16 hour wear by e.l.f. This summer, $10. Still really full, so... I'll use this, but I am also going to restock my Milani Make It Last Original because it's a natural finish and it's also a 16 hour wear. This is also a prime correct and set. I have the $10 bottle here, but I'm going to get the $20 big bottle because it's just such a good one. Not my favorite nozzle, but sprayer, but I have a really good one. As soon as that one's gone, I pour other bottles into that when I'm done. So let's keep moving. After I've done my setting spray, <clears throat> I will take my e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. Now, I do have the shade Fair and Light Medium. I dip my finger into this one and then into this one because I do have a fair skin tone. Thing is, is I get brightening, but I don't get color correcting with this one. So mixing it is like the perfect medium for me. So let's just go ahead and continue with how I uh, do my under eye, right? That would make sense. So for the uh, concealers that I use, I do go in and I do my foundation after that part. And then I do my contour. And I only had like two contours out here, I thought. Well, yeah, so um, I'll grab those and we'll talk about those real soon. Um, for the concealers that I use, I used to use the e.l.f hydrating concealer on my under eye, but I would just get a lot of cakiness and lines. So I moved this, although this is my third tube of it, I moved this one to being for my face. Plus it's not quite the right shade for brightening. So it's perfect for my face though, and it's light sand. Um, then what I use is um, what I've been using for my under eye. This summer I bought the Tower 28, and this is 3.0 CC. It's the perfect shade. It's $22. It's an amazing concealer, and I just love it. I basically use just a dot here, a dot here, and then I put the other stuff on my face in the other places. Therefore, it lasts me a very long time. I don't even want to change concealers after finding this. I, in fact, I was going to buy a backup. So I was on Sephora, and they were having, you know, their 50 percent off on certain products and I just got hit by finding the uh, Lancome Tante Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have the shade 090 uh, Porcelain. It is so perfect. It's one of those concealers that looks better as you wear it even. Um, not that it looks bad by any means when you first put it on. In fact, I wore it for 10 hours yesterday and I showed what it looked like after that and even again today. My under eyes look so, so amazing and good. And this is an even more natural than that serum one. Um, it's not cakey by any means, but it is a nice, a little bit more flat, a little bit more matte than the other one. So when I want that kind of a look, I have this. Normally $29, I picked mine up for $14.50. Nice glass bottle, very luxe and beautiful. Long come top, I know. So that's what I use for concealer. Uh, now for uh, 
for the majority of the contour for the fall time, I will finish off this little Halo Glow Beauty wand. In fact, I haven't used anything since I got this. It's so quick and easy, um, and it's just worked for me so well that I have not put it down because I'm always using it before I go to work. So, and even on my days off, this is all I want to use. However, this is going to run out. I need to buy another one, and until I do, I would love to finish this one off from Collab that I got from Sally. It's also going to be a more matte color, but it's, I, I just want to finish it off and it's going to be perfect for the fall time. So I'm going to finish off this. And also this works for a bronzer even, like a bronzer contour because of the shade. All right, so next let's just go to my eyebrows really quick because nothing else touches my eyebrows ever since I got this. And I've been doing my eyebrows for about six weeks like this and I've been doing the pen for since springtime. So I use the Milk Makeup Kush High Roll Brow Tint Gel, and this is the uh, tubing one, and I use the color Dutch, which is the medium deep brown, and it is, it's $24, it's four and a half grams, and it is everything I ever wanted my eyebrows to be. I tweezed mine way too much in the 90s and made them way too thin, and what I get from this combo is what my brows used to look like, and, um, I just have been so happy with them. I don't plan on changing, doing my brows in any way. In fact, I plan on buying backups. Um, this is 24. One pen is 13. I use the NYX Lift and Snatch and Espresso. Two pens and the one brow gel is $50 and last, will last me a good eight months for $50. Need I say more? That is my just holy grail. I don't even plan. I don't want anything else for my brows. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the foundations. Um, I have been absolutely in love with the new e.l.f. Soft Glam. I bought it in four colors. Two of them are not necessarily my right color. One of them I gave to my mom. The other one, uh, the lighter one, I did keep to any, for whenever I need to add some extra warmth. If I've lightened something too much or if I have something too cool, I can add a drop of this. Or say I lightened my foundation too much and I need to add a drop of something. I have this one. But, and these are $8, but I have the shade 13 Fair Neutral and 22 Light Warm and a mixture, or sorry, 21 Light Neutral and 13 Fair Neutral and a mixture of these is my perfect shade. I love to take this 13 Fair Neutral and mix it with anything that's too dark as well. Or if I just want to lighten something up if it's just a little bit thicker. Um, also for the fall time, I really love my NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. Now this one I bought too dark. And I did that because I this springtime because I thought I would get darker over the summertime. But of course, as usual, I just shielded my skin from the sun. That's my first uh, protection against the sun is to, um, is to shield myself from it. And, um, you know, SPF and all that. But staying out of it is my first defense. And I do have probably two, one to two shades too dark for me. So this is when I will take something like the Fair Neutral and add it to it. But at the same time, this one is still just a little bit too matte for me. And at a time like that, I will take either just a smidge of my 10 Larchmont Tower 28 or my Dior Backstage because they are, well, I'm probably going to use this one to be completely honest to add just that touch of glow. But this I love for the fall. This one's $14. I should have got the vanilla shade. Um, I'm also trying to finish off my CC cream. This is also in light medium, so I also have to lighten this a little bit. If I really like this formula, I would love to buy it again in my proper shade. But I do like this for fall, and I would love to get it finished off this year. Get it tossed. Um, now, the Tower 28, I have been using it for this last second half of summer. Uh, well, the la the yeah, the second half of summer. And um, I really do love this foundation a lot. I can see it kind of um, moving to some being something more of a mixture than uh, as just a glowy foundation I'm going to wear. You know, for spring or summer, I really like that. But for fall time, I don't want it to be quite this glowy. But I do use this for a mix-in, so it will still be in my collection. I use 10 large marks. This one's $32, and it's good for sensitive skin. It's approved by the Eczema Association. Two more. Okay, so my Dior Backstage Face and Body. This does not come off on clothing or anything. Um, 
I love it. I'm in 0 0.5 neutral. Um, I absolutely love this foundation and it is a perfect natural finish. It's one of those foundations that looks, this one even looks good when you put it on, but it even looks better as you wear it. Um, it's also not. It may be a luxury foundation, but the price of it is not. You may think it is because it's $43, but you get 1.7 ounces of this. That's only $25 an ounce. This is a fantastic foundation. It's one of my... This and the Tower 28 are my two favorites. That and the Elf. Those are my three favorites. That's why they're in my collection to use. Lastly, my elf halo glow. I love adding this in for a little bit of a uh, glow to anything. So I do need to get it in a different shade. I have light medium and I am fair. So I do need to get it in a fair neutral or a fair neutral warm, fair light neutral warm, something like that. Um, and then I'll be fine. But this one's $14 and it's beautiful. Everybody's heard about it, but I love it for a little bit of glow. Now, since it's going to be summer or fall time, I will be probably moving out of my bronzing drops. But instead of bronzing drops, I will be switching to my Say Sun Glow Highlighter. I still want a little bit of something in my foundation, but I don't want it to be as intense since it's going to be fall time. So that's what I do with a product like this. I'm going to, you know, use it, but I don't want my bronzing drops to be quite as intense. So I'm going to move to a liquid highlighter into the, into the mixture instead. This was also something I got in a Sephora Favorites kit, and that's how I'm going to use a product that might not be my color or something. I'm going to find a way to use it, or I'll give it to someone else if I can't. But this was the perfect way. These are normally 12, and this is normally 16. Oh, and I have rose gold. And this is my second bottle of these. Okay, so let's talk about... Uh, bronzers or powders sorry powders powders and then bronzers okay so for the fall time i really like these i have the fair shade and the loose and i've got the um 220 natural beige which is it was my color at the time but i am this shade now i can still do this though because it's oppressed and if my stuff is a little light for the day but i really love this because it is matte and then this one is a really nice for that matte look i just can't go really heavy with it or it's too much and it'll look cakey but these are great cheap what six to seven dollars seven eight dollars at the drugstore i mean you can't go wrong with the price and you get a nice beautiful matte look for cheap and then I do love my number seven uh, Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Light for a touch-up powder during the day. It's just perfect for me. It's still nice and light um, because it's a finishing powder. Uh, so I can touch up, like, I can get two touch-ups instead of one uh, out of the day because it's a lot lighter than something else. So I really do like that. And I think it's around $12 at Target. My Holy Grail, I've been using this one since the springtime. And... I will not let myself run out of this. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and it's $8. I use the shade Light, and I use this on the perimeter of my face. But again, this is my holy grail. It's not going anywhere out of my collection. I just added in the other one for this fall time. And then for my under eye, I use the HD powder. This one's only $6. I have it in both shades. There's a sheer that has glitter in it, which is the one right here. And I've used a ton of it since I got it. And I have the just the HD one. I also have the pressed HD one. Uh, I have every all the powders from e.l.f. except for like the cheapest four dollar one and i love all of them i use the other one if i want more matte look and i use this one if i have a lot of glitters on or if i'm using glittery highlighters or whatever um it's also good for parties or um you know doing you know going to a party or going to like new year's or something like that and you're gonna have extra glitter on anyway it's a good way to use it and it is not as intense and as crazy as people say it is it's really not and I'm just using a teeny tiny bit of it to set my under eye anyway. Very light amount. I, mean, I can't use a lot of powder. Otherwise, I'm way too dry and cakey. I can't even use a puff. I have to, unless it's a velvet puff, I, I have to use a brush and a very light hand at it. Okay, so for um, bronzer, I switched from my Luminous Putty Bronzer to my um, Elf Putty Bronzer in Honey Drip for the fall time. It's brand new, and so I really like the shade of this one, and it's more matte for my bronzer. For the fall time, this is $7. And then I have my other $7 one. This is 10 o'clock, and I do want to get Forever Sunkissed since summer's over. Um, 
it's so pigmented, but I just use a really large fluffy brush with it. This is the second darkest shade in the line, or the second lightest shade in the line as it is, but I want to go back and get the very lightest shade because it's so pigmented, but I can make it work easily. It's, I think it, this is for the light person or something. I don't know. There's like eight of them, so I'm not sure. It's a very light shade. 10 o'clock, $7. These were amazing. I this I, I I had two others of these or something like that. Or no, I had one of the other putty ones that I gave to my niece because it was too dark for me. It was a medium shade, and I gave one to, the other powder one to my mother because it was catching rays. It was a medium shade as well. And I just, you know, I want my collection to be something that's curated and really works for me, and it has products in it that I'm not flipping through that aren't going to work for me. I want what's in my collection to work for me. Um, another one though, if I do want a matte bronzer is my Essence Sun Club matte bronzer. This one's really good for me in the fall time, or I mean in the winter time actually, just because of the color. It doesn't show up for, on me a lot otherwise, but it is matte at least. Okay, so next we're going to go into one other bronzer, and this is my Natasha Denona uh, Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. I just bought this uh, in August or at the end of July, and um... I really, I, I wanted this for a while and I love it. And, and I've got nice fall time, uh, highlighters in here. And, um, for anything nice that I'm going to or any outings or parties or anything that I do, and I want to look my best, this is definitely something I'll do. I really like Natasha Nanoni, not only her eye products, but I really love her, her face products as well. If, if you put on a Natasha Nanoni, blush and bronzer and, and highlighter your makeup just looks so top-notch and beautiful like with that you know um christian dior foundation i can really put myself together nicely and just have a really beautiful look so um also when i use this or if i use this my mini bronze i am definitely using this with it i don't think i've ever used this without using this with it so kind of helps i feel like ties my look together which this is also, we'll go ahead and talk about this one right now since it's in my hand just for the um, safety, just to save time. But of course, my mini bronze is in my fall picks. I love this. This is my perfect colors. This shade right here is my best color on me, hands down, of all colors. That is $27 for that little mini palette. I also pulled out my Pat McGrath Labs Bridgerton highlighter. It is the um, Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter, and it is a it is a gold, gold, gold highlighter. It is beautiful. It would be really beautiful, I think. Um, and this was like sixty some dollars, like sixty eight dollars or something like that. Especially since it was limited edition. Oops, I thought I had the swatch on my hand still. I wiped it off. That's right. So I think this would be a really pretty um, eye topper too. Look at that. It's just a beautiful gold highlighter that'll be really handy this fall time. Oh, I forgot about some blushes, guys. That's right. We were just starting to talk about blush, actually. Okay. So two that I got from the dollar store that I think will be great for the fall time are actually, I love this little matte one. It's just a really pretty just matte, I mean, mauve shade. Mauve is what I meant to say. It's just a really great little mauve. And then this one's really nice for a little, like, just bitten like you know cold bit look i really like both of these and i got them at the dollar tree this is a little queen beauty and they're really good actually i love them um i also really love these putty blushes i got for this fall Ila del sol caribbean bali and maldives and i think these are going to be so perfect for fall colors i am so excited for them mm, i'm wearing one of them tomorrow i'm pretty sure um this shade right here, Maldives, is one of my, is, might be my favorite of them. It's just like a brownie, like red, but with some purple in it too. It's just, it's like a leaf, you know, it's like a fallen leaf. It's just gorgeous. And all of these col colors and these four remind me of that. So these four will definitely be fall faves. Seven dollars. Okay, so two other fall faves. Well, that. Sorry, I'm pulling them out. I want to make sure I have all of the right ones. Okay, I think I have them all now. 
So this is one that I got at Sephora, actually, and it's called Tiger Lily. I just haven't used it yet, but this is going to be perfect for the fall time, this orange and brown. You can mix it or use it separate, but I just haven't used it yet in my collection, but great for fall. I got it for this fall. Then I pulled out two of the e.l.f. primer infused for fall. I think that this Always Vibrant Shade, this fuchsia, will be really fun for fall and into winter. $7. And then Always Rosy is my favorite one. I used this for 30 days straight before I could force myself to get out of it. And same thing with this. I used this on top and then this over it. This is the Dusty Rose and then Always Cheeky. Or no, sorry, this is Always Rosy. Seven dollars a piece, and it's the perfect nude combo. So if I ever have too much going on on my face, a really strong look, and I need my cheek to be more like nude, this is what I do, or like that little mob guy. And then this is just another option for that like bit rosy lip, or I mean cheek or lip. Actually, this is the ruby and pixie, and you get nineteen grams in here. There's so much for eighteen dollars. This is a great another little like bitten cold cheek type for moving into the fall and winter. Now this formula I love for the fall time because it's very diffused. It looks like a matte blush. Now maybe not this color Coralicious. It won't be bad, but I think I want to pick up a couple other colors in this that are more like fall tones. But this Sweet Cheeks by NYX formula is a beautiful, more matte diffused blush and it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I, and these are about between seven fifty and nine. I think they're seven fifty. The uh, only one I really, well, the only one I have in the Halo Glow one by Elf is the Yugo Coco, and this is one of my most favorite blushes in my entire collection. It's like a brown, but with some like reddish, like gold brown. It's and the berry. It's so beautiful. And I was afraid it was going to be too dark for me, and it's not. It's one of my most favorite blushes in my entire collection. I just got it like a, a month and a half ago, and I love it. every. I've worn it quite a bit, considering it's gotten a lot of love, considering I've gotten a lot of new blush. I really love this one. If I could, you know, could only keep so many, you know, these are tops in my collection. Holy grail status. Now, three more from e.l.f. and then we're done talking about blush completely. These three shades in the camo, we've got Very Well, Bronze Bombshell, and Gorge Orange. Don't tell me these cannot be beautiful fall shades. They're going to be perfect for the fall time. Okay, so one brand, four liquid highlighters. We've got the Gargoyle Collection from Earn the Earthly, and we have one from the Spring Garden Collection. I got a green, an orange, a blue, and a purple. This one was 15. These were 38 for the trio. The uh, Unearthly Liquid Highlighters are my favorite of all highlighter, of all liquid highlighters on the market because the colors are so unique, and I am just obsessed. I want every one of these that comes in every color ever, and I'm watching for them to come out because they're so amazing and they stay on so well. I would have, I had one that stayed on my hand all day through washing it numerous times during the day at work and it stayed on so good because I it sat there for a couple hours before I first went to the bathroom and it stayed on my hand all day. I had to like scrub it off at the end of the night. Can you imagine if you were like swimming, it would be on your face. They're really, really, really good. Okay, so for moisturizing my lips this fall, I did get a bunch of the little Squeeze Me Balms by e.l.f. for $4, and I really don't think they're bad moisturizers, but I am going to pick up one more backup of the Summer Fridays, maybe two, because I did try this, and I really don't know if anything else is going to, like, save your lips like this will. I have pink sugar, and I absolutely adore it. This is 22 These are 4 But these are not little bad ones. This one I have used a lot, a lot, a lot. You can, like, I have a good dent going in this one. But yeah, I got all the shades in this, or all the flavors in this, and then... This, this guy came in one of my Sephora favorites. That's how I saved myself from buying it. But it's it's everything everybody said it does. It nourishes your lips. I put this on. Not only does it stay on your lips for a good two, three hours, but then your lips feel nourished all day long. So, like, if you have, like, seriously chapped lips, I could only imagine this would be amazing for them. So, I actually I have not been using it that much since I got it. I'm saving it for this fall and winter time, actually. Okay, so now we're going to move into lip products. You have to have a black, so I pulled out my uh, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in black. It's actually called, like, Boo. 
something boo. Get some booze. <laughs> and then anything in a purple color, I am all for. If you if it comes in like a brown, like a deep brown purple, that like 90s, like my lip, wicked cherry here. Uh, that's my jam here in the lip oil. Cherry Bomb and Cinnamon Spice in the Wet n' Wild. Um, this jam one, this something jam in the Sun Boss Gloss. Devil's Food Cake here. Show off here, but you guys, look at Untamed. Look at this purple in the O face. I got the swear with that vibrant blush for the fall. <laughs> and how about the one on my lip now? This one's by Kat Von D. This is a Dahlia. It's like an ox blood. This one's like one of my favorite in my collection. I got this in a boxy charm and I love it. It's actually still feels nourishing even as I wear it all day. It's not like, it's a lip cream is what it's called. So it doesn't completely dry down like a liquid liquid, but it's not bad. Okay. So then, um, I personally like to have reds in my collection as well. Oh, there's another brown there. And I love to have reds in my collection for the fall time. Got like my Tower 28, my NYX uh, one, my Maybelline, my Clarins. And I got, again, Elf, NYX, Elf, Maybelline. Now, another one that I really love for the fall time is this. I like to put it with a plum or a mauve lip liner for like a more of like a ghoulish type look if I'm doing something that's more like Halloween inspired or something where I'm wearing something just like different and unique or if I'm do, doing a blue makeup like eye look if I want it, my lip to kind of have some sort of blue. This is perfect because this lip oil is sheer enough that you just get a little wash of blue. Also, you've got to have some decent nudes. If you're moving into the fall. So I pulled out some great like nudes for me. I've got like Teddy Fluff by NYX. I've got my Elf in Praline. I've got this Mava side. I've got Nudie Nude. And then I've got like Pleasure right here. Then I've also got this beautiful Melted Nude in a Rosewood. Um, Unbuttoned by Kosas is a great nude. I've also got this Apple Crisp by NYX and then this Profusion. These are perfect, like, burnt, orangey, like, browns. And then, where is Out Loud by, uh, Out Loud by Smashbox. This brown, it's like the perfect rusty, orangey brown. It is so nice and it's so matte. It's so perfect for fall. It's like a $22 lipstick. Another orange, another lip paint that's orange. And then... I also pulled out some glittery um, golds and a little bit of pinks. I pulled out like my little cool pink in Daydream, my coconut, my rose envy, and my velvet in the Forget the Filler by Lawless. So we've got some pink, some nude, some gold sparkle, and then my browns, my oranges, my reds, and my, my purples. That's my... Those are my colors. Those are pretty much the only colors I wear and then in as many finishes as possible. So now we just have to do the um, eyeshadow palettes and then we're done. So let's move quickly. I've got my little Ayana by Natasha. Great little uh, colors for the fall time. Just some good nudes here. Here, you know, you got your deep, your light, your mid-tone, and then you got this like blue that's like greenish and then you got this like pinkish shade here. This is such a cool blue with green with gold. It's beautiful. This is called the Ayana. It was done specifically for BoxyCharm. But I also have the Cupid, which has these like brownish reds in it. And then this shimmer and this shimmer again. It's just another really nice one for the fall time. Um, this was the Cupid for uh, BoxyCharm. And I had to pull out my Ace Beauté Classical Paradise. I just got this in December last year. So it's very new to my collection. And this is the updated formula. 
I mean, how can you not pull this palette out for fall? It's so perfect for fall. I love it for fall. And I don't, I haven't used it very much yet, so I'm excited. Um, another good one for fall is the uh, Unearthly Cosmetics um, Fairy Frolic. Look at these shades for fall. This shade Frolic and Mystical Moss are my two favorite shades in this palette. I just, ugh. they're so pretty, such a pretty rusty orange type. And then this green is really pretty and sparkly. So fairy frolic. And then you've got like a good mauve, you know, yellowish and your brown. Oh, I'm blinding you guys. I'm so sorry. It's great. And then, um, I did pull out the not normal. Now they just remastered this for 62 and it's a, I'm so sorry. I said they turned it into a 15 pan for $66. They turned this into an 18 pan for $62. I love this shade so much. I love these two in this shade. Oh, I love this palette. I got mine for really cheap. I got mine for like 20 bucks or something. Um, another good one for the fall is going to be my Natasha. I need a nude, of course. How can you not use this for fall? I just, I've only used mine twice. It's so sad. And this was my present, my birthday present from my mom this year. I think this could be good for fall. I'm going to have to force myself to use it out of all my other new stuff, but it would be good for fall. I just got it in like, um, the end, end of July. And it's the new classics by Elf, fourteen dollars. This is normally sixty nine. Um, no. These are both going to be good fall palettes. They're both by Melt. One is the Dark Matter palette. This is gonna be my Smoky Eye palette. I like dark smoky eye palette. I love this one. And another wonderful one for fall is going to be fall's my favorite time to do palettes. Oh, and I want to give you guys like a little warning too. I did not pull any of my Juvia's Place palettes for fall because I don't see myself probably using them this year for fall. Maybe next year I might use them more, but I don't see myself pulling for them this year. They've been the only things I've had to pull for the last two years, and that's why. There's not anything wrong with them. It's just that's all I've pulled for the last two years because it's all I owned. These two I've only used once. This is the 27 palette by Matt. I bought both of these for 29 off of Sephora's website this summer. And they normally go for uh, $58 a piece on the Melt website. And then you also have to spend um, quite a bit for shipping. And these colors in here, their mats are so amazing. Like, look at those colors for fall. Oh, wow. Look at those for fall. Look at these two. Those are beautiful. And the, they, their mats, like, really pack a punch on the finger it does not take very much from the very much powder very much uh eyeshadow to make your color to pack the color onto your eye it's i was very very impressed i only, like i said i only used each palette once so far and you'll see why um real soon here why i've had such a difficult time I would like to get my nose out of some of my other palettes and use my Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette. I think this will be beautiful for the fall time. Look at that. I haven't even used this. I mean, I did, it didn't turn out though because I had already done my makeup that day. So I had taken my make, makeup off with a uh, makeup wipe. And anytime I ever do that, my makeup, I mean, of course it's not gonna look that great. But um, that was the only time I ever used this, so I just I, I just haven't used it yet. There's nothing wrong with it. I just 
you'll see why. I bought all of these, by the way, within the last six weeks of each other. So that also has a huge amount to do with it. It's that all of this was new at the same time. So another one for fall. My Bun Bunny Machina. I think this is a great one for fall. This is also one of my favorites in my collection, hands down. God, I would be so sad if this, like, broke off of here. Okay, I guess it doesn't feel like it would do that, but... Gosh, that really creased already right there. It's because I folded it all the way backwards, and I don't like doing that with my palettes, really. Um, okay, so anyway, moving on. Another one for fall. I haven't used this yet, either. But look at all these... These and these are going to be so good for fall. I also use um, this in the next one when I need to pull for specific colors. I use this all the time to pull for specific colors. Like, I pulled this today for um, this. Yeah, I pulled this today for this color and this color. So this and this. Or no, I'm sorry. I pulled it for this and this. That's right. It was this orange and this yellow. I blended, I put the yellow up here and then I put the red down and I used a little bit of the orange to blend the red out. But this Ellis Atlantis by Blend Bunny, I use this all the time. And these like grungy tones in here are going to be so good for fall. Now, I just got this, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I just got it yesterday, my Haunted Palette by Gourmand Girls, but I specifically bought this for Halloween and fall time. I got it for $17. It's on sale for $20. I had some extra shop cash, and it's just marked down right now. You can also get it in different bundles. One being the Secret Grove. You can pick up this and the Secret Grove for $35. We'll save my favorite for last. Okay. How can you do fall without Heather Austin's Adept palette? Perfect for fall. How about Adept's Fall Launch Unity? You can't do fall without it. Fall lunch. Hmm. How about the sister palette to Unity? Flying Fiddles. You can't do it without its sister palette. So good for fall. My favorite palette of every one of them in my collection. Well, actually, not anymore. This is my second favorite palette now. It's very in sunset. But I still think this can be pulled for fall. All the purples and blues. Nice deepness and into winter time. This will move nicely into winter. But I can't pull that palette without pulling this. But again, you still have a lot of like depth in here. So also for fall, I have to be careful with this one. My Star Wars by ColourPop. This is my only one I own from ColourPop. I have to be careful because I can't tip this one over because this one broke. But I think we all know what this one looks like anyway. There's only a tiny bit of shadow left in that little piece. So I want to be able to use it. What's left? And then, um, I pulled I'm saving my favorite palette for last, but I also pulled it for fall. Um, just a couple, like these are two of my favorite shadow sticks, this nice orangey one and this like purple, gold green, and then this like deep brown and then this copper one. I pulled these for fall. 
and then also my lavender liner because I use this for purple looks. And then my Juvia's Place one, I have to get it finished up because it's drying up. And this is the Fula, but this is a wonderful inner corner for super bright stuff for like uh, Halloween palettes and stuff. And then I also just got the Duochrome in Extraterrestrial, so I want to use this one for fall. It changes from blue to green to purple to yellow. It's very multichromish or to pink. Yeah. It changes a bunch of different colors. It's a beautiful multi-chrome here. And these are only $8, by the way. The ones from Juvia's Place are 15 The five, uh, Elf Sticks are 5 and these ones are 8 from Maybelline. And there's the purple, the green. So you can see some of the shifts. There's where it's purple. But yeah. Anyway, and then I pulled out my Moonwalk because this one is actually, I think, a nice little fall color. This green and green to like orangey brown type. And of course, Ritz for the fall and sparkles. It's one of my all-time favorites anyway. And then we have just... A couple of other blush palettes. I forgot to pull the blush palettes. So when I move into any um, other powdered makeup, I really do like to pull my Blend Bunny Forget Me Not for any time I want to do like any powdered bronzers or things like that. I like this for a fall look. If I'm going to, instead of using the cream and I want to go into a more matte look, I'll pull this for fall matte looks. Then... How can you not pull duality for blush for the fall? This is insane. This is my favorite in my collection. This was, well, this is my favorite highlighter in my collection. It's the Blend Bunny Noctilucent. I'll just uh, get it to show you all the colors. Usually I have to... Anyway, there's purple, pink, blue, green, yellow. It's every color in here. This has been around for a couple years. Um, and then for fall, Blend Money Bare Cheeks is so good for the fall. So good for the fall. But if you need a punchy color, you can still pull the Juicy Cheeks. Again, you can still do fall stuff in here. Okay, now for my most favorite, the most special, most important piece for fall for me is what's on my eyes now, and it's my Strange and Unusual. This is my most favorite palette in my entire collection, and this is like my baby. My father and I saw this. It was the first movie that me and my father ever saw together. I was nine years old. We went with other family. My father is gone. He's been gone for about 20 years. But um, this means the world to me because this is the first movie we ever saw together. And it's just so beautiful. And it's just fall and Halloween and a palette. And every time I open it, I think of my father because I think of the movie. So it's really awesome to be able to have a memory like this, to be able to think of him all the time. So it, it, it's really special to me. This palette is normally $72, but you can pick it up for $62 if you want to put $10 off in the code. Um, also, I don't know if I told you, most of the Adept palettes, this one's $65, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79, $79
I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'm going to get off of here so you don't have to watch this video any longer. Have a good one.